Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a problem on our 2021 Toyota Camry. This car hadn't been used for quite a long time, resulted the battery had drained out and after replacing it, we've had various of issues. To be more specific, this car idles RPM is around 1500 to 2000, where it should be under 1000. When you change gear, it will shake noticeably forward and when you accelerate it, it will exceed over 25 km per hour. There's no feedback while you press the gas pedal, similar to a leaf home mode or Mercedes. And with that being said, let's go ahead and diagnose this car. So this is our Camry. After surfing the forums, many of you have confirmed that we only need to reset the throttle and the problem would be solved. But in fact, the symptoms is way more complicated. To prove it, I will reset it right now. After clearing on DTC, go to utility and choose learning value reset. As you can see, we can erase the DTC, but after a while, it will come back and we cannot reset our throttle. And at this point, I can make sure that we're having an electrical problem. So let's take a look at our live data. Pay attention to the acceleration sensor. When we press the gas pedal, these values are changing, but our throttle position sensor is not sending corresponding voltage signal. Now, we can consider three options. It came with a TBS is malfunctioning, our wires is having a short circuit, or the ETCS fuse has been blown. Off camera, I've checked the fuse and it's perfectly fine. The TBS could be broken, but since this car is the newest models, it's not likely to happen. So it's all come down to the wire. And after some investigations, we found that there's a short circuit in the wire due to the mouse bit. Then we've rewired everything and cleared the DTC. Now I'm gonna show you the resetting procedure. Go ahead and select the utility, then choose learning value reset, click on next, and we're done. To conclude, this problem is not as simple as we see. We have to read and understand the data list, and from that, we can minimize our faulty area. Then, start measuring and we can fix it with the most efficiency and easily. We really hope that you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.